Hello everyone! Once again, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll be discussing about uh, stoichiometry or the theor theoretical yield. Okay, stoichiometry is the calculation of reactants and products based on the balance equation. Usually, we use this in getting the the theoretical yield or the percent yield of an equation. So, doing that, we just need to remember that in getting or in solving balance equation in stoichiometry, we usually have four steps. In solving that first we need to write the complete balance equation next you have to convert from the given units to moles and then convert the moles of the given quantity to moles of the desired quantity or sometimes we also get the grams okay or the weight so this is about weight to weight calculation also okay so those are the things that you need to remember so, in order for you to understand it further, let's take a look at this example. So, calculate the number of moles of sodium hydroxide that are necessary to produce 7.5 moles of sodium sulfate from the reaction. So, what is the reaction? The reaction is this one. Okay? So, sodium hydroxide plus the sulfuric acid when you combine that they form a product of sodium sulfate and water so what kind of reaction did we use here this is a double reaction or yung tinatawag nating double displacement okay so in order for us to solve this problem we need first to balance the equation okay so kailangan nating i-balance yung equation we need to balance the equation so you need to refresh your knowledge about balancing balancing chemical equation so for this equation sodium hydroxide plus sulfuric acid makes a, a product of sodium sulfate plus water we need to balance all the elements given here so meaning when we say balance the number of moles of each element here should be equal to the number of moles of the product okay so yung reactant natin yung number of moles ng bawat element na yan kailangan pareho dun sa number of moles ng uh, element dito sa product side. So, reactant at product. Okay? Para masabi natin na ang equation natin ay balance. So, looking at this one, hydrogen, hydrogen here is balance kasi may dalawa sila. But then, SO4 here is 1, SO4 here is 1. Sodium here is 2, but the sodium here is not. So, ang unang-unang natin gagawin dyan, will be we need to balance sodium. Okay? So, sodium, kailangan tuto, so kailangan maglagay rin tayo ng to dyan. Okay? Para maging balance yung sodium natin. So, here there are two sodium and there are two OH or the hydroxide. Okay? So, Ang gagawin natin ngayon, titingnan natin kung yung mga elements natin ay balance na o hindi. Okay? Here, there's two hydrogen and here another two hydrogen. It's four. Already four. So, kasi two plus two is four. But the hydrogen here is only two. So, ibig sabihin, we also need to put two here. Because two times two, it gives us four. Okay, so now hydrogen here is for, this two is not only for hydrogen, but it's also for oxygen. So, yung oxygen mo dito will also be two. So, two plus the four oxygen here is already six. Okay, ngayon, titingnan natin kung pareho ba tayo ng number of oxygen dito. So, four, may oxygen na tayong four dito. At dito, meron din tayong two oxygen because two here is also for Na, O, and H. Okay, so 6 then. So tama na yung um, oxygen natin. Hydrogen here is 2 plus 2 is 4. Hydrogen here is 4 also. 
sodium here is 2 and also sodium here is 2. Now, what about for the S? S here is only 1. Sulfur here is also 1. Okay, so since nabalance na natin ang equation, now we are now ready to solve the problem. So, ano ba yung problem natin? We are finding the number of moles of sodium hydroxide. Okay, we're number of moles of sodium hydroxide that are necessary to produce 7.5 moles of sodium sulfate. Okay, so that's the one we are trying to solve. So first, we have to start from sodium sulfate and we, from, from sodium sulfate, we are going to solve it to get the mole, the moles of sodium hydroxide using, by using this equation. Okay, this formula. So given here, so since uh, moles is given and we are also finding the answer of the number of moles of sodium hydroxide, we only need to use one step. Okay, there's only one step involved in this problem. And that is the conversion from moles of sodium hydroxide to moles of sodium sulfate. Okay, so you are going to solve that one only. Okay, from sodium hydroxide to moles of sodium sulfate. Okay, so firstly, we need to get the given and that is 7.5, okay, moles of NaSO4 or sodium sulfate. And from the equation, we say that there is one mole of sodium sulfate in every two moles of sodium hydroxide okay so one mole and a two so4 here with the two moles of naoh or sodium hydroxide okay so cancel this cancel this one what's left is what the mole of sodium hydroxide so the answer here is 7.5 times 2 that will be 15 15 mole okay of sodium hydroxide so this is already the answer okay so we need 15 moles of sodium hydroxide to produce 7.5 moles of NaSO4. Okay, do you understand? So, union. That's how we solve the number, or getting the number of moles of sodium hydroxide. Okay, so one step lang ang ginawa natin. Okay, kasi mole to mole lang tayo. So, we don't need to do other step. Kasi mole to mole. Okay, next, what if we have this kind of problem naman? Okay, so let's say we have this problem. Calculate. So we are getting the, so here we are calculating the number of what? Calculate the number of grams of magnesium chloride that could be obtained from 8.5 grams of hydrochloric acid when it is reacted with an excess magnesium oxide. Okay? So, that's another problem. So, this time, ang gagawin naman natin, we are calculating the number of grams. Okay? It's the number of grams of Magnesium chloride. Magnesium chloride is MgCl2. Okay, that could be obtained from 
8 grams of hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid is HCl. When reacted with an excess magnesium oxide. Okay, magnesium oxide is MgO. Okay, so to solve this equation, firstly, we, uh, we need again to balance the equation. Okay, so we need to balance the equation. So, from this equation, we have magnesium oxide plus hydrochloric acid makes water and magnesium chloride. Okay, so, anong gagawin natin dyan? Ibabalance natin. Magnesium chloride, magnesium here, magnesium is 1. But chlorine here is 2. But the other side, it's 1 only. And oxygen here is 2. In this reactant side, there's only 1. So, anong gagawin natin? We need to put 2 here. Okay? To make the hydrogen 2 as well as the chlorine 2. Doing that, we will have a balance equation na. Okay? We have balance equation already. Because the number of oxygen here and the number of oxygen here is the same. Parehong 1. Okay? Magnesium here is 1 and also with this equation, it's also 1. Okay? Next, hydrogen here is 2. And so as with the hydrogen here, dahil sa nilagay nating coefficient na 2. Okay, because this 2 here is not only for hydrogen but also for chlorine. Chlorine here is 2 and so as chlorine there. Okay, at dahil nga na balance na natin ang ating equation, we are now ready to solve the problem. Okay, to know the number of grams of magnesium chloride. To obtain that could be obtained from 8.5 grams of hydrochloric acid but before that kailangan mo munang dahil grams ang pinag-uusapan natin we need to get the molar mass of the compound that we need to solve and that is the hydrochloric acid and the magnesium chloride Okay, so yun yung mga kailangan nating um, compound in solving this. Okay, so bakit natin kailangan kunin muna ang uh, molar mass? It's because it you change natin, kay, sa molar mass, we have molar mass is gram per mole. Okay, and so in this one, we need to solve moles and then after we change it to grams. Okay. So, doing that, we need to get or we need to use molar mass of the given compound. So, firstly, kailangan muna natin kunin ang molar mass ng HCl. Okay? Hydrogen. So, in here, we only have one hydrogen and one chlorine. Okay? So, one mole times the atomic weight of hydrogen which is 1 and for chlorine there's only 1 mole of chlorine times the atomic weight of chlorine which is 35.5 so the molar mass of HCl is 36.5 this is gram per mole okay next we also need the molar mass of magnesium chloride okay so magnesium Chloride. Kasi kailangan natin yon. Magnesium chloride yung kinukuha natin doon. So, in magnesium chloride, here we only have magnesium is 1 mole times the atomic mass of magnesium which is 24.3. Okay? So, 24.3 chlorine. There are 2 moles of chlorine here. So, 2 times... 35.5 it makes it gives us 71 so 24.3 plus 71 is 95.3 so this is the molar mass of magnesium chloride 
Okay, 95.3 gram per mole. Now, now that we already know the molar mass of each compound needed to solve the problem, we are now ready to get the grams. Okay, ready na tayo to get the grams of the equation. Okay, wait, lalagay ko muna siya dyan para isolve natin yung equation natin. Okay? Wait, let me just get something na makapag, uh, ano siya dyan. Okay, so yun na. So, solving that, anong gagawin natin? Kailangan muna nating kunin. mag start tayo sa given and that is 8.5. Okay? So, 8, oh my gosh. Kunin natin. So, 8.5 grams of hydrochloric acid, HCl, times the molar mass of HCl is in every one mole of HCl, we have 36.5 grams. Okay? Next, times, we have in every 2 moles of HCl from the equation, we get 1 mole of magnesium chloride. Okay? So, from there, kukunin naman natin ngayon is what? Makukuha na natin yung mole kasi kapag kinancel out natin to cancel out, ang mangyayari, matitira na lang natin dito ay ang hydrochloric acid na mole. So, from mole, iti-change naman natin. Kukunin natin in every one mole, uh, one mole of hydrochloric acid, base, basing from the equation natin, we have what? Ito yung equation natin. Para mabalikan, from this equation, we have in every two moles, of hydrochloric acid, we only have 1 mole of magnesium chloride. Okay? Kaya meron tayo nyan. Okay? So, cancel this out. Cancel that out. Ang matitira na lang ngayon ay ang magnesium chloride in moles. So, ngayon, since ang hinahanap natin ay grams, kukunin natin yung molar mass ng magnesium chloride and that is 95.5 so in 1 mole of magnesium chloride there are 95.3 grams of MgCl okay now ready na tayo to get the answer so first magiging 8.5 grams divided by times 1 divided by 36 times the answer times 1 divided by 2 and then times 95 divided by 1 so doing that we will get the answer 11.1 gram of magnesium chloride okay so there are 11, we need 11.5 grams of magnesium chloride to obtain, that could be obtained from the 8.5 gram, 8.5 grams of hydrochloric acid, okay, when it is reacted in an excess of magnesium oxide, okay, so that's how we solve the stoichiometry of balance equation using theoretical yield okay so that's it for today i hope you learned something again this is teacher Luis, your mommy tutor please like share and subscribe and always don't forget to click the notification bell to be updated sa mga iba ko pang videos na darating so if you have any request kung ano po yung gusto nyong ipa um Discuss sa akin na subject, feel free to comment below. Okay, bye! Thank you!